Okay, so I've done both of the outsides, which have one, two, three, four, five, six little circles, okay? And now we're gonna move on to the second group. And you're only gonna have one, two, three, four groups. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, but just like a quick thing, my husband, lovely as always, brought me down to reality. And I think that this one will be better for only third and fourth grade. And the easier one that I'm gonna show you next will be better for first through, uh, I'm sorry, K, uh, TK through second. Um, and that one I'll show you next. So, but this one I think, you know, I know Benna can handle it and Benna is in third grade, so. Um, plus they have, you know, the month to work on it. All right, so moving on to the second group. We're working with eight strands on this, on the, on each one of these, it takes eight, eight of these strands, right? Okay, so we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just a quick note, the one thing I really do love about macrame is it teaches sequencing. It teaches pattern and repetition. And that's what all this is. It's also great for little fingers. Um, so it may look complicated, but it's literally the same thing over and over and over again. So it's not as hard. And once they get used to it, I promise they'll be ready to go. And their parents will love it because they can put something really beautiful on their wall. Um, okay, so now, see, I counted eight strands, right? I'm gonna start with the first four, okay? We're gonna do two sets of knots. Remember the square knot? So, one, two, one, two. So you have two there, okay? That's your first four strands. Now you count one, two, three, four, moving on. And what you can do is if it makes it easier, we can just flip these over so they don't have to concentrate on those. Okay, so again, two sets here. One, two, one, two. Remember left to right, right to left, or right to left, left to right, but never right to right and never left to left, different knot. Okay, so now after we've done our two, we're gonna do two square or four square knots in, two, I'm sorry, two square knots in the center. Okay, so here's your first one. And here is your second. Voila, okay? So now you have one, two, and three. Now what we need to do is we're gonna split these two middle ones up and we're gonna do four here. And then we're gonna do four here, okay? So we're gonna do another set of two square knots. And this is what creates that circle in the, in the center when you have them coming here. All right, we got two here. Now we're gonna come over to this guy. We got two here. All right, and then we're gonna take our two in the middle. We're gonna do two sets there. And it's basically the same thing over and over again and making um, four circles right and it's as you can see these two are the same and these two are going to be the same right and then we'll meet in the middle so um i'm going to do this one more time and then i'll finish it up and then we'll wrap up the whole project so again more two square knots here and into this guy Two square knots. I hope I'm not going so fast that you guys can't follow me. My fingers just work that way. Um, okay, coming into the middle, we'll do two more here. And then I will go ahead and finish this guy up 
and then I'm going to move on to the finishing of the project. All right, so I'll be back. <laughs> 